does everyone hear audio? Can you can you guys hear us? Yes. Yes, and you guys can hear Nick too. Hear me, not the game. Okay. You can hear the most important things. And now we hear Nick. The most important thing. There we are. Welcome back to the Virtual Railroader Academy. Sorry about that. Somehow my stream settings got changed. Um, but we're here. We're here with the Virtual Railroader Academy. We're back. It's another month. Um, my god, time flies. And as always, uh, I am Professor Casey. And I'm Professor Nick, and welcome to another round of Railroaders Play Railroader. Oh, yes. So, uh, today is a railroading workshop. Uh, we're going to be covering a bunch of mini topics this evening. We've got MOW, we've got whistles, we've got headlights, we've got bells, we've got, uh, uh, what else? Marker lamps? If we can get into marker lamps, we'll get into marker lamps. There's a... There's a whole bunch of stuff this evening to talk about. So, uh... I'm, I'm hearing comments that the music is too loud. I just turned everything down a little bit. Um... I, stream title should be updated. I just changed that. Um... I, I see the cha updated uh, stream yeah, title. Yeah, you may have to refresh. But, uh, we've got a lot to do. We've got this MOW train here. And, uh, we gotta take this out to, uh, milepost 55 point... 75 uh, to 55.25. Uh, so we've got a little bit of a run. Uh, so, uh, Nick, why don't you hop up in the engine and uh, we'll, uh, we'll reach out to our dispatcher, Mr. Garbly, here to get permission out. I'll be a good conductor and I'll go up and get the switch. But yes, yeah, tonight is a night of technical difficulties for us. Yes, we're we're just uh, well, we're we're role playing um, an MOW requirement to be able to talk about MOW because it, it comes up. Uh, it's not a game mechanic. We just thought this would be a fun way to talk about one thing, but also talk about a bunch of other little things at the same time. Yes, and maintenance of way is something that happens when things go wrong. So thematically, we've started out this stream by demonstrating problems and the need to find solutions and MOW is all about finding solutions. All right, so uh, we're just waiting on our light out. Why don't you creep on up to the light, Nick? And uh, as part of headlight rules, we'll dive right into it. Um, the headlight should be on bright in the direction of travel. Uh, if you have the AM and W timetable, uh, which should be exclamation mark ETT, uh, and if not, it's linked in the Discord as well in important links. Uh, we have our headlight rules listed out in there so that you can kind of follow along from home. And dispatch to extra 91. Hello there, dispatch. Uh, you guys should have lights out of your siding there. Uh, you are clear until uh, Larka Junction. You'll put meat at a Larka Junction. Uh, Nick, you, you should be going the other back. You said ahead. This gets I know, back I to said, why don't, you, why don't you bring her back and creep up to the light? I heard ahead. The audience can keep us honest about that one. But now we are doing uh, light creeping. Exactly, 6777. Uh, exactly. So, uh, why don't you get your backlight on right there? There we are. There you go. Uh, getting notes that the uh, ETT file doesn't exist according to Google Docs. Um, hmm, that's weird. Well, that's, uh, we'll have to fix that tomorrow, not right now in the middle of the stream. 
that's a that's a Google problem. All right, uh, we're gonna try and get on the car here. Where's a ladder? There's a ladder. And uh, looks like you made it on. I did. I'm on. I got the switch normaled up. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's just follow our signal indications. I'm gonna try and parkour up over me. to you. Ah, uh, yes. It, the, uh, the MOW version of uh, American Ninja Warrior. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm stuck in the tender now. There we go. <laughs> that was really amusing to watch from my perspective. <laughs> uh, All right. Glad you can pay. So, uh, yeah, I'm here. Let's uh, scoot on down to Alerka Junction then. We're good for 25 through this section. Here we go. Um. So, we're doing MOW. We got We had to take track out of service. How do you do that? How do you say, hey, don't don't cross this track, but you need to move trains across this track. Um, and that's a that's a that's a big thing of how to how to make how to make stuff move. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Um, weird visual glitch on my end. Uh, there's a bunch of ways to do this of removing it physically. Um, like six seven like sixty seven seventy seven says speed restrictions. Yes. We have a speed restriction up. Uh, the section of track we have out of service is 15 miles an hour right now. Restricted speed. Um, but how do you let trains know that there are people working there? Um, and there's a couple of different ways you can go about this depending on what rule book you're using, what year it is, and so on. Um, so, if I'm, I'm going to try and be a little fancy. A little fancy here. Hope my fanciness works. If I do that, go. You guys should see this now. This is one of the AM and W bulletin orders. Uh, was active as of yesterday. Uh, so you can see in a bulletin order, we took the track out of service. Whose authority it's under, um, and what all trains need to do: stop and get permission from the supervisor before proceeding. So that's one way you can do it. A bulletin order is a uh, system or division-wide document, depending on how large your railroad is, that gives you important information. Um, so like speed restrictions, yard limits, stuff like that. But the very thing we're using it for, taking track out of service is item number one. If you're in, uh, if you're working in standard code, you can use a train order to take it out, a Form 19. You probably want a Form 31. Form 31 just means you need to stop and sign to say that you got it, rather than just hooping up orders. I didn't have a Form 31 handy, so pretend this Form 19 is a Form 31. But we got train order number one to see an e engine uh, 91 at Alarca. Um, and it's saying, hey, track out of service, milepost 55.25 to 55.75. Under the authority, MOW, MOW Supervisor C. Jane. That's me. Stop and get authority, I can't spell, from the supervisor before proceeding. Made that complete, 8 a.m. Uh, under Rudy Garbley. Uh, now, if it is the current day and you're in Norak Railroad, uh, you will probably be very familiar with a Form D. So, we've got a Form D. Uh, usually there's a letter ahead of the number, um, and that Form D is just letting... Where are we? Uh, so, coming up to the station, Nick, uh, for just talking whistle signals briefly and pivoting. Uh, long three shorts. Oh, not... Oh, that's yards, right. And uh, I'll say, hey, yeah, no, we're not stopping here, and you'll do two shorts to acknowledge we're going to keep going. Back to our Form Ds. And good on ringing the bell going through the station platform. I like to see it. 
Uh, so it should be form D number, uh, it, it, you have a letter for your railroad, so we'll say we're A01. Uh, the date is 11-15-2023. I've got a circle line one, uh, main one track, uh, out of, it has a speed restriction of 15 miles an hour. There are no speed signs displayed between milepost 55.25 and 55.75. I've got a circle line four, one track out of service between milepost 55.25 and 55.75 in the charge of CJ. And that is complete our garbly at 8 a.m. Finally, we have a form B, which if you are a G core person, you will recognize. And I learned about this myself this morning. Um, going over what a Form B was and how to fill it out and talking with my friends on the West Coast. And I will say, East Coast people, Form Bs are better for track out of service. This is so much cleaner than a Form D. I mean, These this, compared to this, there's so much stuff, you, like so many lines versus this. Oof. Right? So, yeah. you know, I'm, I have, I'm a convert. I like the Form B. Um, so we've got a track bulletin Form B, number BD01, Division Bryson, uh, Subdivision Dillsboro, uh, to all trains, because you can address this to all trains, um, at Bryson. Uh, date is November 15th, 2023. I've got a line one. Uh, we're going to be at rule 15.2. Uh, from milepost 55.25 to 55.75 from 7 p.m. until 2200. I forget what that is. I think that's 10 o'clock. Um, one tracks under uh, the foreman of CJ and trains must stop. Um, this was timed at 800 under R. Garbley and copied by me. So that's how G Corps people do it. I gotta say, I really like the G Corps way. Doing a bulletin order is very clean. You can get it out to everyone, um, and they pick it up when they come on duty. But if something's gotta get taken out on the fly, I gotta say, I like how the Form B does it more. And oh, looks like we had a yellow there. So our next signal is gonna be a stop. I wonder what they have for us now. It's always a mystery what ends up on the railroad. And we are mm -hmm. playing with CTC this evening. Just makes things a lot easier and cleaner. Mm -hmm. Possibly a meet. If we do have a meet coming up, uh, since we are... Mm, technically, we're on the hole, so we're going to need to extinguish our headlight. Uh, if we were holding the main, or uh, we would dim our headlight. So we'll just uh, we'll creep on up to the signal and see what uh, see what happens. We'll have a grade here. Uh, Rowan Mackenzie is wondering where they can find uh, the map file in the Discord. Uh, there is no more. There is no longer a map file. So, uh, unfortunately, you can't find it. We, just, we don't have one anymore. Maybe once Railroaders release in the early access, there will be a, a public map that we can put up there. Uh, but until then, uh, unfortunately, we don't have one. Ooh, I got a... That's probably close enough to the signal. Nick, you do a lot of, uh, in your professional life, work with MOW, right? Yeah, I'm, we talk a lot about building projects you're uh, out yes. working on. So the, the, the MOW that I tend to 
find myself crossing paths with as uh, part of my company streamliner media where i'm doing video projects documenting uh work for freight railroads uh, sometimes that can be just business development pieces but that can also be um a number of times track replacement or bridge replacement and so i feel fortunate that i've gotten to see a lot of railroading that otherwise one doesn't see because we tend to focus on the trains that are moving by us like this uh, uh quadruplet of jeep nines that's a very short train yes oh they've got some coal on there they've got some weight um so i i now have spent enough time watching track work that i have a favorite piece of mow equipment which is um <laughs> the tie replacer oh that's cool where they, they it has the arm underneath the track and it shuffles the tie out and then mm. uh, you'll have to let me know when we have a clear i cannot see i will i will let you know when it goes up to clear appreciate that um so yeah, the t watching okay, it kind of shut what we've uh we've got a restricting. Good to know. Um. So yeah, watching it kind of shuffle the old ties out and shuffle the new tie into place is uh very uh, entertaining. Although I will also say the the spike drilling machines are a close second. Watching the, those things just hammer spikes away super quick that is also very uh entertaining i like the tamper getting to watch the tamper do its thing is fun and the tampers that they in these day and age like they have these long arms that are on wheels that are sensors so it's mapping out the placement of ties before the tamper itself rolls over it hmm. um yeah, Iowa Interstate has one, and I got to watch that tamping down ballast on their new bridge. And that was that was a treat. Um, so, it's it really gives you an appreciation for the infrastructure of railroading, where so often we're just focused on rolling over the track that we don't tend to think about what it takes to maintain that track or lay new lines. Mm-hmm. In the case of the Iowa Interstate project, that one, that was a really cool one. I'm actually going to have a, a short video on that coming on my YouTube channel, hopefully within the next couple of weeks, where you can see the kind of quick and, excuse me, the quick and dirty of that project, where they were replacing this 120-year-old Rock Island bridge, um, your typical girder truss, and with something that looks more like a highway bridge. And so I was there for the last stages of construction where they were dropping the rock, um, spreading into place, uh, tamping it, and then got to see the main being cut over. So, yeah, the, the main was being cut over so that they could immediately run trains the next day. Like, they had their daily cross, um, uh, you know, um, Chicago to Council Bluffs trains go through then they basically shut down that part of the railroad so they could cut the main over and do the work, cut the main over and then uh, immediately be back in business it was really impressive turnaround like that was all within a day of having them using the old bridge, cutting over to the new main uh, and new bridge and then using the new bridge that's very cool Watching the MOW guys work is always a lot of fun for me. I don't I don't get to see it often. Um, one of the coolest things I got to do was uh, be a flagman while we were running. We were running our steam engine. Uh, we had to cut our we had a a broken joint or a heat kink, heat kink, heat kink. Um, and we had to cut the rail. Uh, you got a green. Oh, good. Uh, had to cut the rail. Um, to relieve the kink, um, and then weld it back together. Uh, so we had a flagman on either end, and the foreman was riding across, and um, riding riding with the train across to uh, watch the tracks as it 
you know, as the locomotive went over everything. And it was awesome. It was awesome just getting to stand out there all day, uh, watching them work when nothing was coming by, and you know, hanging all the way out there to catch stuff. Uh, make sure the conductor sees us shoving back into the station, and uh, giving the engineer the highball when the last car is clear, um, and then listening to the engine bark right off. Forgot our whistle signal here, but we'll get it right on the next one. Yes. Uh, did you know that Herzog ballast hoppers have solar panels on them? For what? Controlling the doors. They're electric. Yes. Oh. Boogie woogie. Oh my so, god. So, yes, it's, uh, it, it, that was really impressive thing to see too. So I, I, I've seen them in use on two, or no, it was just one. The other one had manual uh, hand-operated doors, which I can see why one would prefer the Herzog ballast cars where you just press a button and the doors open versus um, manually having to uh, open and close uh, rock doors. Mm. Uh, but yes, those doors have to be powered somehow, so all of those hoppers have solar panels on the top that charge batteries oh, very cool. that operate those doors. So next time you see a ballast hopper, a Herzog ballast hopper, look at the top and you'll you'll notice the solar panels. Huh. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that now. Uh, don't forget about the 25 coming up for the next curve. Right. I know it's, it's been a, it's been a minute since on... we've been on this side of the railroad. Yes. Um, no, I'm, MOW is cool. I like getting to see the cool stuff they do and. All the fun experiences. Um, the, you know, that every time you get back and I get to see a little bit of the stuff you shot and the cool things other places are doing. It's so easy. It's, yeah. I like it when you come back from a trip and share that stuff. I think one of my favorites to watch, um, there's a property, uh, a short line in Ohio called the Napoleon Defiance in Western. And... Pioneer Lines, which owned it at the time before they merged with Patriot Rail, contracted me to document um, the replacement of about not continuously 30 miles of track, but it was spots over 30 miles of what uh, they called uh, the worst railroad in America, or worst maintained railroad in America. Um, because they inherited a very, they inherited a Wabash line that had about 40 years of neglect before they came into it so they got the funding uh to be able to replace rail and ties and uh, if you youtube like uh if you use youtube search um napoleon defiance in western you'll see older videos before they did the work where you've got these uh jeep 20s that are just rocking and rolling all over the place even at a restricted speed of like five miles an hour it, it, it's rough or i should say it was rough because then they did all this work and the transformation was quite incredible to see it before and after um and and that was where i got to watch the herzog ballast cars at work got to yeah. see a lot of um track equipment uh doing the work there that was a very nifty project to document Yes, uh, 67 knows what I'm talking about. He says was originally built over a swamp, basically. Yeah, you can wow. tell it's soft ground. Hmm. I love those kinds of fun facts. Uh, so we're coming up to Bryson Yard. We should probably talk a little bit about headphone bell and whistle rules as we're getting close. Um, I think that would behoove us. Mm -hmm. um, so approaching a yard, uh, you're going to give long short to, uh, you know, acknowledge that you're approaching. Um, and so that way everyone in the yard can hear you coming and turn your bell on. Uh, you're going to dim your light moving through the yard and through the passenger platform, but you got to make sure you have it back on bright for the great crossing. Right. Um, so when you're moving through a yard, you want the headlight on dim so that way you're not blinding any other crews that are working in there especially at night that headlight blinding it can it can really hurt your eyes 
Um, and you know, the bells so that way everyone knows going around that they, you know, they hear you coming. Steam engines can be deceptively quiet. There's a Bruce Springsteen song about uh, what happens when you don't dim your headlight coming into a yard. There's a Springsteen song about that? Oh my god. <laughs> you almost you. got me with that. <laughs> Thank you. I, well, I'm glad you recognized I I was raised as a Springsteen fan, so you know. I know. I, I, aren't you glad I said that and not uh, Manfred Mann? I am. I would I would have been upset if you said Manfred Mann. Yep. Uh, simulation gaming crit. Yes, I am a new subscriber. Can you tell me more about this game? Like, do you have any progress along the game and do you make money? Uh, yes, there's progress. Yes, you make money. Uh, I think you start with a small bit of track. And a couple of locomotives and you deliver cars that come in from interchange to the customers and you make money and you expand your railroad and you grow um that's that's about the best answer i can give you're better off asking in the railroader discord uh all about that and you can find a link to their uh discord on their all on their social media pages on the on uh, on steam on youtube stuff like that I'll be a good noodle and I'll, I'll be a good fireman and ring the bell. Clear. Thank you. Alright, All right, so we're coming up to that yard. I'll get the bell on. And once we cross the yard limit sign, which is just beyond the, uh, the switch here, and you can put the headlight on dim. I was just going through this, uh, this past weekend running the first of the Christmas trains, where you've got a, a meet coming into a station. You're entering a yard, uh, you gotta be on, so you, you have your headlight on bright on our railroad coming into the yard. As you go across a crossing, you need the headlight on bright to see two switches that you only have about a car, car and a half of vision on. And then you meet a train, go into the siding, into a passenger platform, across a public road. So you go bright, dim, bright, dim. Um, as you uh once you get across the road. It's a lot of it's a lot of moving with the headlight. Alright, so you should have your light back on bright. I do. Rudy is keeping us moving tonight. And back to dim through the passenger platform. And I'm, I'm a bit lazy with the light. Once I see that, like, I'm just about out of yard limits, uh, even if I'm not quite at it, I'll kick it back over to bright. And so since we're talking about whistle signals, I'm assuming all of you out there uh, know the whistle signal for a grade crossing. A little pop quiz for the evening. I've heard multiple reasons for the source of why it is what it is. I don't know if any of them are actually true. I know it's Morse code for the letter Q. I've heard that, but then that's been disputed because... Is that not Morse code for the letter Q? Oh, well, it is oh. Morse code for the letter Q. No, they're crossing. But... Yeah, but I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why Q. Yeah, some people think Queen. Like it was. It's, I've heard the story of it being 
uh, to announce the arrival of the Queen, but that doesn't historically line up. No. And especially because I'm under the impression that Mon Long Short Long, uh, which, yes, uh, Skag, McCastle, and Thunder Roamer, uh, congratulations, you got that right. Uh, I'm under the impression that that's not a British thing. I think in Britain they 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 don't do long long short long. I don't think they blow the whistle for crossings. Also true, because they have them fancy gates that fold out and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, more trains, please. Says Q for quarantine the crossing, which I've also heard. I, that's the first time I'm hearing quarantine. Certainly in that context, anyway. Passing another whistle post. The beauty of running tender first is Nick has no idea what's going on on this side of the train. I do not. I am totally reliant on my new fireman here. Um. At the oh, and another whistle post here. I, I have no idea where this crossing is. I can't. I have no vision. I think you see this before I do. Oh, cute little stream. Not my stream. That stream over there. Ah, I'm not as funny as Nick. I know. I don't think that joke held water. Um, extra. Extra 91, this is Extra 90, requesting permission to proceed west past MOW FUZ at restricted speed. Yeah, uh, this is a uh, MOW supervised for CJ and you have permission through the track out of service. Restricted speed not exceeding 15 miles an hour. Understood, thank you. All right. Oh, we got a, that, that whistle's post is a long way off from that crossing. You should, you should start getting a visual on it soon. Oh, yep. This is about, this is, this is kind of like what it's like. Uh, you're, you know, usually the engineer turns on the bell and, and then you think as a fireman, like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta look, look at the crossing. And you're like, oh, I have a little bit of time. So you don't like need to run right over there. They like turning it on early. Um, that's kind of what it's like. Uh, 67, you can say you throw limes at me, but I am currently unharmed, so. I, I did actually eat a, I had limes as part of my dinner today, though. More lime juice than lime zest, but there were limes involved. Potato, potato. Precisely. So, alright, let's, uh... What else do we have that we're coming up with? Uh, as far as the next job, next thing we need to worry about. We're probably gonna have a couple more meets, so... We've got our whistle signals for meets. Um, which is uh, long, long, short. Um, if we're the one approaching, if we're in the siding, we don't make any noise. We, or, you know, if we're waiting, we don't make any noise. I'm not sure what we're going to come up with next, but I have the I have the rules right in front of me, so that way we can reference them as we need them. And answer your questions along the way. Because if we didn't make that clear earlier, we do answer your questions. We do. We like questions. Questions are fun. Makes us think about things we haven't thought about before. Mm-hmm. True. So, cute, uh, cute kid story time. Um, when I was a wee lad, I had a, a children's tape on trains. And at one point, it actually did cover MOW work, uh, which was kind of a nifty thing to have in there. Uh, at one point, the narrator of the video says, then the brackets are loosened. 
Um, and I'm not entirely sure. He's talking about the the, the tie fights. Is what he's actually talking about. Um, but he calls them brackets. So he says then the brackets are lucid. But for the for years after that, I would refer to any piece of MOW as a Bracalusa. <laughs> I like that. And I do think that Bracalusa is a fitting name for a piece of MOW equipment. It sounds like something you send the new guy to go pick up. Yeah, hey, can you go get a Bracalusa? I mean, it does sound like that, uh, like it could be a brand name. Like, you know, here's your Bracalusa spike... Uh, Spike Driller, or here's your Bracalusa Camper. If I ever have a fictional MOW company, I probably would name it Bracalusa. The Bracalusa MOW Company? Mm -hmm. Con Bracalusa Contractors? Yep. Sixty-seven seventy-seven has silly spikes of his railroad. What is a silly spike, if I dare ask? Makes me think of silly putty. I was thinking Maybe there's spikes string. made out of silly... Well, yeah, so spikes made out of silly putty and silly string. I hope it's the last intermediate. I forgot the look. I'm sure it's fine. I'm, I'm hoping it was a clear, because if anything else... I, I think gonna... it's coming into view here in a second. Alright, well, we just hit the station board, so why don't you... Oh, and it looks like we have a meet here. Alright, and put your headlight on dim. I'll ring the bell as we're coming through. Oh, that's our, uh, our CCR. That is our the clear... CCR. Do, do, do. Looking out my back door. Up, oh, crossing. And we got a clear. The specialized Amtrak spike, so their track geometry cars could locate where it was more accurately. Huh. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that sounds like a thing. It's I mean, a... The amount of technology put into infrastructure these days is mind-boggling. It really is. Like, the, the, you tampers... You can set tampers to add super elevation to a curve. Mm -hmm. I just think that is the neatest thing. Oops. So, going through all these whistle signals, the headlights, the bell, all this stuff you need to juggle. How is it? Is it a lot? Uh, yes. Very much so, yes. Because when it becomes automatic, it's less. But when you're having to think through everything manually, it is more. I'll tell you, it's still not automatic for me. I still as like we're as like we're departing like I still have to like I like I know I put the headlight on but like I still look up and be like is that yeah no that's yeah that's on bright okay cool um as you know we're as you know I'm coming up to the meet and I'm like okay no I have to dim but I don't want to dim too soon but I don't want to dim too late okay go to dim now um for a meet um so it's like yeah I still think about it it's a lot to juggle um and if you have a fireman who forgets to hit the bell if the air ringer is not working or whatever, you're trying to blow for a crossing. You're also shouting at your fireman like, "Hey, bell." Um, it's a it, it's a lot to like keep track of. It and I don't. It hasn't yet to get easier. I see this conversation transpiring about the Pancake Palace. Oh, yes, we will the be Pancake going Palace. by there. We're getting very close to it. Um, someone is someone trying the Pancake Palace recipe? 
I've tried that recipe. That is a good recipe. It's a good... I'm a big fan of it. I'm not usually one to do buttermilk in pancakes. But... Ne no, neither am I. And it's it's a very good recipe. I, I, I like it. I'm a fan. If you haven't tried it yet, highly recommend doing it. So. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh... Keeping track of everything you need to do um, for bell, whistle, headlight, um, where everyone else is. It's a, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot to keep track of. It's a lot to maintain. There's a reason there are two people inside the cab. There is. Uh, and, you know, you're constantly checking yourself. Uh, this is just, you know, getting philosophical, as we always do. This is why, you know, two-man crew, like, one-man crews aren't a good idea. Because you have that second person to keep you awake, to keep a conversation with, to check you on what you're doing, what you're seeing. Um, you know, it makes it a lot easier. I could, I, you know, I look at a signal, I, I call we have a clear and you look and you go clear because you know I've looked and acknowledged you've looked and acknowledged um, same thing going through a crossing we're going through a crossing I say clear you say clear to acknowledge that it's clear on my side um, if there's lights at a crossing flashing or gates to acknowledge that the lights are on the gates are down and I say it and because I can see it on my side and you say it because you can see it at your side and we both acknowledge that hey that's working um, so that way it's a check and balance. Coming up to a switch, call it green target. Line for the main. I've said it, now you've said it. So here we are coming into another station. Uh, you've got an approach. A long short. And as we're coming up to that platform, you can put it on dim, and once we're past the platform, you can put it back to bright. Having the dispatcher makes it a lot easier, though. Yes. Yes, it does. I mean, it's, it, if you have a lot going on, if you are working on a railroad in which you're the only train on the line, then there's less of that. And but for something like this, absolutely. And I got you clear out the other end, Nick. Great. I'll leave that bell on for the passenger platform and the crossing. We'll glance over here at Nick so that we all can get a view of the Pancake Palace as we roll by. Clear. All right, and I can put the headlight back to bright and keep on rolling through. I am not implying Nick is the Pancake Palace. You all saw the Pancake Palace car behind him. I am one with the pancake. I am the pancake. You are the I Pancake am the Palace. Wolf. Yes, oh you are the Eggman. You are the Pancake Palace. I am the Walrus. You watch that. Kachu. You watch that new video too much. Well, that video is not new. That video is decades old. I meant the new video. You're talking video. about. Oh yeah. Well, yes, I I did watch it a number of times. Still love it. But I'm 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 checking off all the boxes. I mean, I've done a, a, a CCR reference. I've done a Beatles reference. Uh, I did one other band, which I... Oh, uh, Bruce Springsteen. So I, I'm just going for gold on my, my classic rock references tonight. Uh, Thunder Roamer. You love watching these streams because you've learned so much about the art of railroading. You want to work on Sumo Clips eventually, but I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place presently someday. 
But hopefully someday you get to. I, I'm with you on that. I have not had the opportunity to put the buff to. Hopefully someday. Yes, I wish you the best. I understand being between a rock and a hard place with that kind of stuff. It, uh, you know, does not make life easy sometimes. We are getting close to, uh, we are. aren't we? So shall we job brief a little bit? And job yes. briefing another big thing on the railroad? It's, uh, really just having a conversation about what the hell you're about to do. Uh, so let's job brief a little bit. So, um, just beyond the intermediate, coming up at 55.75, Nick, is going to be a fusey. That's the start of our out-of-service limit. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll roll up. Um, we'll, uh, we'll roll through it. Um, here, I'm giving you permission through. Um, and uh, along the river, we're doing some riprap replacement. Um, and putting in a few new ties. That's what all of this junk back here is for. we got some ties, rails, uh, we've got ballast. Uh, so we're going to be dropping in some fresh riprap down there. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll come in, uh, I'll stop you, we'll let, our, we'll let off the employees, uh, we'll unload the ties that we need to unload, and then, uh, we'll give Rudy, a, we'll give the dispatcher a call, uh, Mr. Garbley, and, uh, set on off, uh, you can, you can head on out and go run around and get the train made back up to come back the other way. Uh, and then, uh, once you get turned around, you can come on back and we'll, uh, we'll dump ballast and get on out of here, uh, to go, uh, return everyone home and put the train away for the evening. So, uh, Good. yep, that fusee there, our hour-long burning fusee, um, is, uh, marking the start of the out-of-service limit, so we'll pinch it down to 15. Yes, uh, you know, it's that nice cinder roadbed, I sir. Cinder roadbed. Cinder roadbed. Alright, so, uh, yeah, just keep creeping on up. narrow portion here coming up right here along the river we gotta drop in some riprap and put in a couple of new ties so where do you want me to spot this? Yeah, keep on rolling ahead I'll count you in uh, we'll give you a yeah, four cars. Two more. One more. Eh, you could stop her anywhere in there. That should work. Our wonderful MOW coach here. Our, our guys will get on off. And we'll, uh... We'll get, we'll send Nick away and, uh, you know, can, we can converse with Rudy and figure out how we're going to get you run around. And, uh, you can come on back. Pending other trains coming through. Sounds good. Uh, I will, Not uh, sure. temper yeah, Jeez. I'll, I'll temporarily jump, uh, to the other channel and then, yeah, permit these events. So, uh, I imagine there may be a couple of trains uh, need to get through first, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll wait and see. We'll find out. Oh, he's oh, joined us. Here he Hello. is. Hello. Uh, greetings. Uh, dispatch to Extra 91. Hello, Dispatch. This is the MOW Supervisor. Uh, when you guys are done dropping off your personnel, uh, if you can run down to Thomas Valley on the main, 
And then I've got two trains uh, that I need to send west through your out-of-service track. Uh, and then you can do your run around to Thomas Valley. Right. Sounds good to me. Um, so cool. you, were aligned in, you were aligned into the main at Thomas Valley whenever you were ready to make that move. All right. And uh, Nick, you can, uh, you can handle getting the run around but done by yourself? Yes. Okay. Yep, I can do that. All right, and uh, I think uh, I think we got all of our ties off that we need to get off, and uh, our guys are down here, so uh, take her away. Giving you the big old backup signal here. You know, I did that the other day. Uh, Bupkis and I were playing uh, Railroader together on his save, and we had our cameras on and doing hand signals to each other. Uh, may have been just a tiny bit of Rule G violation involved with this decision. Um and realized that it was incredibly fun to be there um, slightly intoxicated but giving hands I don't think we talked for like half an hour just switching out an industry just doing it all with hand signals it was it was a stupid amount of fun uh, so I'm going to already set a couple be. of trains up at Thomas Valley so I'm going to oh hi Nick I just passed your body oh I'm just gonna... I can assure you my body is not where you think my body is. Something, 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 Alpha. I'm just going to run up the main uh, faster than the train to the, uh, the next fusee up here. Somewhere over here. Did you see a fusee? Yes, I'm rolling over it. Oh, there we go. I see it. Yeah, I couldn't see it because it was under a train. And uh, I'm going to stand up here as a good flagman and wait to catch it. I tend to float away. I do tend to find myself in the clouds frequently, 67. Oh, I thought you were about to make another musical joke. Um... Well, now that you've invited the possibility... I, um, I do this to myself. I do it to myself, folks. I, I'm, I'm torn between doing a Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds reference or a Wheel in the Sky reference. I'll take Wheel in the Sky. Okay. Then we've got Journey checked off as well. Even though I didn't actually make a joke, I'm just like, I could do one about Journey. But we'll call it that I did. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think we got a couple of questions uh, in here. Uh, Thunder Roamer wants to know what the star pattern on the inside of the wheel set is. I think you mean the ribbing on the back of the wheel set? Um, That's what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Rudy's a better person to ask that than I am. I, I, I don't know about those types of things. Um, I think he has a little bit... He, him or... Oh, BMAC's not here. BMAC would be the person to know. Um, but BMAC's not here because he's out at his real MOW job um, this evening. So BMAC's the person to ask. But I'll bug him to post about it in the VRA Discord. Shameless plug. Um, and uh, he can he can answer that tomorrow. Uh, he is He's good with those kinds of things. Uh, I, I know steam engines and operations and not so great on the mechanical side of things. It's uh, kind of my weakness. But, you know, we're always learning, we're always growing, am I right? Yeah, always learning and growing, I think that's good. Um, and New Haven 0670, Fusey for us means emergency. Um, yeah, you could use Fusies for different things. I've used Fusies to flag grade crossings before, I've used Fusies to let another train know we're 10 minutes, we're 10 minutes off our schedule. I've used Fusies to uh, start fires. Um, I've used Fusies as a flagging tool to stop another train because it was dark out. So, you uh, Fusie could be an emergency. It, you know, it could mean anything. Um, it's all depend on where it is, how it's used, and who's with it. I think that's that's fair. There's a, um, you know, if you've been following, again, Discord, uh, Rule 99 has been coming up a bunch of flagging rules uh, in the Rule of the Day channel. Um, 
and oh look, yeah, no, uh, not today. Oh yeah, no, today's. Oh, no, there was none today. Yesterday's and the days before are both uh, the Fusey rules. Um, one for standard code from 1953, one for standard code 2018. Um, so, Fusies, they're cool. Not as cool as torpedoes. That was a conversation we were having today. It was kind of dumb things we've all done with torpedoes. Um, okay, what's your torpedo story? Which one? Well, your your best. It was a funeral train. Oh, um, I remember this one. I this, don't know if they've heard it before. This but wonderful to railroader named Tommy Who. Um, Lehigh Valley fan. Worked for Conrail. Um, was a Conrail guy. Worked for Conrail all the way into the shared assets era where it was... Uh, NS and CSX um, and he was working for our short line as the freight agent and he passed away suddenly only I wish I got to work with him more I only met him once and the one time I met him he gave me a little card that took like it was like a cheat sheet for the railroad that he gave new brakeman um, but I've always heard wonderful things about him his name was Tommy Barkowski but no one could say his name and it was the uh, 80s, late 70s, early 80s, and the Who was all the rage. So he was called Tommy Who. Um, you know, the pinball wizard. Um, but Tommy passed away, and it hurt the... It, yeah, got it. Everyone still talks about him. If you put on a handbrake, um, you gotta make sure it's Tommy tight, and that, like, you crank the handbrake until, like, the car lifts up a little bit. Um, and when you pop the handbrake to release it, you feel the car physically settle. That's Tommy tight. That's how I learned to tighten hand That's how I learned to put on handbrakes. Anyway, Tommy passed away and we held a memorial train for him. Um, when we were coming into the station to run around, um, on the other end of the line, we, me and the CMO went out there, um, with a bunch of fusees, 21 of them to be precise, um, and 21 fusees salute. Yes, and put 21 fusees through this big long curve. Uh, and the last two, the last five fusees were double fusees from the CN. Oh. No one filled up the tender on this engine. Oops. Um, and we didn't tell the engineer we were doing it. Uh, and come, we were coming downhill into the station in this big long curve with a, uh, a you know, four or five car train. Everyone was drinking, remembering Tommy. Um, and we hit the first torpedo. And everyone kind of looked around. And then we hit the second one. And people were like trying to lean out the windows. And then the third and the fourth and the fifth. And by the time we hit the last two, not a single person had a dry eye on the train. Including the engineer. He stopped wiping tears from his eyes um and the music he played on the whistle um after at the stop at the station just the one long to say hey we're stopped i'm i'm sitting here with goosebumps right now i i could feel the hair on my neck standing up on the back of my neck standing up it was such a moving meaningful experience uh, and then we went ahead and screwed around with them more and put them in knuckles that way when uh, an engine couples into it it detonates and scares the crap out of the new guy so there's the two signs of the coin hmm. but that's that's my uh, that's my torpedo story an impressive one at that it is um 
there's something... I don't, I don't want to say I like working the funeral trains because they're never really, you know. It's a funeral. It's a memorial. But god damn it if, like, as a community, a railroad doesn't go all out when someone in the Brotherhood passes away. Um, that you just, you're not sad anymore. It provides a sense of closure. It does. I, I, now that I'm waiting on the parade of things, I see that you've commandeered uh, a mixed freight there. I, I think it's the coal drag with a little bit extra tacked on. I think we're pulling an EC here. Uh, it's, it's the coal drag with some random freight tacked onto it. Ah. I'm just going to wait for that last car to clear. Give him the highball. And yeet him on ahead. Uh, I believe my other train was over here, so now I gotta walk on back. Running at the speed of smell to the other end to go catch the next train that's stopping in the block. I, I like that where you're running, it did. It's particularly jittery, so it adds. You know, to the that's, there's there's like a terrain thing going on here that's like vibrating me. I, but it, I, it I like it funny. because it adds, yeah, it adds to this sense of urgency. It adds to the sense of oh, you're really running hard to get to the, the <laughs> east end. There we go. That's what <sighs> we were missing. <sighs> Remember, guys, don't run in steel toes. Makes me think of. Uh, the hand car in 3D Ultra Lionel Train Town where oh you can God. only run at a top speed for so long. Speaking of MO do I do I get my Ooh. cheeseburger now? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Speaking of MOW, that was a game that actually did something to teach folks about MOW. Something like that, yeah. I mean in some interesting ways, but you had plows that cleared rocks and snow slides. You had um, cranes that built bridges or replaced track. You did. Yeah, no, there, there was admittedly, track. Admittedly, it was track that was destroyed by UFOs, but it still track replacement or termites. This is true. Yeah, you know that's a. Uh, I haven't thought of it that way. That that game does. That's the only train game with MOW. Yeah. With actual function, I mean, for all of the Sims that we have, none of them have operable cranes. This is true. Um, none of them have operable MOW pieces of equipment. I mean, they, they have these things, like you could pull a, a dead plow, but it's not actually plowing snow. The cranes aren't actually lifting up pieces of equipment, but... But in Lionel Train Town, this is why Lionel Train Town is quite possibly the greatest train game ever made. Um, hmm. Quite possibly, because it it did actually it get you know, and the idea that you had to get crew there, so you'd have uh, the hand car with the workers that had to get to the location, even if occasionally that location was a dream sequence. And you had to find the magic buffers. It was still MOW. There you have it. Where's, where's my Lionel? Lionel Deluxe, the very where, first MOW game. Where be my Lionel Train Town peeps in, in the comments? Surely y'all have played it at some point. Okay, there, there they are. I see you. They're there. Yeah. Yes. Looks like I've got another train in the distance here to catch. And it sounds like somebody's going to be requesting clearance of some kind. Uh, this is actually a dispatcher calling extra 91. Uh, go ahead, dispatcher, extra 91 answering. Uh, 91, you can finish your runaround move as soon as that other train is cleared out of the siding out of your way. 
Copy that. Thank you very much. He's yeah, already gone to all. Yeah, permission to pass border right there. Appreciate that. How's the railroad looking? Do I have more stuff to catch and receive over here anytime well, soon? This is the last thing I've had to get the faster train through because, you know, passengers are getting wrestled sitting there in a setting. Gotcha. Well, I mean, they are one stop through. away from Pancake Pal, so it's understandable. We've mm. got a. Uh, We've got some rip wrap to dump, and then uh, they've got a little more work to do, so we can uh, okay. we can duck out of the way uh, if you have more stuff to bring through. Okay. Move ourselves up onto the flyer here. Oh, and you know what? I should, uh, you know, we're now we're approaching MOW workers, so this is five short. And we'll ring the bell. The other part of this that we should have been talking about, whistle, bell, and headlight rules. And we keep our headlight on bright through here. There we go. I could ride in the cab, but I want to be a cool kid and ride on the side of the, uh, right on the side of the gangway here. Speaking of maintenance, yeah. I just realized something else I've experienced recently. It's not oh. an MOW exactly, but it does involve maintenance. I had the opportunity to ride in the tool car behind 611. Ooh. What's their tool car like? It is a 1954 Pullman package built for Canadian National originally. Mm. I uh, that then went to Via, that then at some point made its way to uh, Virginia Museum of Transportation. I'm led to believe it is the same one that was used behind uh, 1218 back in the 80s or early 90s. Allegedly. Um, so what is it like? It's interesting because it is um, astounding how much stuff they fit in there. So you've got everything, for, you've got hoses for watering, you've got um, welding equipment, you have tons of extra glad hands. That was really an interesting thing. I've got a short video that I produced of this that's going to be released um, next uh, Tuesday when the podcast episode about uh, going behind the scenes of the 611 trips releases. Uh, I had the pleasure of interviewing the excursion manager, Zach McGinnis, for that. And oh, nice. So, riding behind it, um, yeah, the, there's, and then you've got all manner of chair. You've got folding chair, you've got comfy lounge chair, you've got office wheelie chair. For people to sit in um some right next to the baggage doors which are open but have gates across them that are well anchored uh it's uh, you've got snacks and fridge um a doorway leading to the generator car that was right behind it uh it, it it's quite astounding how much they managed to fit into such a small space It's very cool. So how, how people kit out their tool cars is always very. Ah, I think it's. I like it. I. Every, everyone always ends up carrying different stuff. Yeah. But it's I all love, kind of the same. I love the. Um, I think my favorite of the ones I've had the pleasure of being in is the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Societies. There's it's an ex. Uh, 1950s um, army kitchen car. And uh, so it's like one of those, it's like half the length of a regular pasture car. Hmm. And it has half of the section designated uh, for tools and the other half are seats and uh, you know, calendar space for microwave and stuff like that. Um, and that also is quite a fun setup. The, the, the bit of railroad culture there um, is because being on excursion service is tiring and people frequently fall asleep and take naps, uh, is 
taking photos of people taking naps. <laughs> so that that's a thing amongst them. Uh, the other thing I really appreciated about there is kind of uh, in line with what we were talking about uh, last month is that they there's there's a lot of language posted in um, printouts talking about social media posts reminding people that you know they that they are publicly representing this thing and so forth and I thought that was a, a particularly nice touch huh. um, because I think for some folks especially those who are really super into the mechanical, they could kind of forget that what they are doing is on display at all times. And so they are ambassadors of this thing, which is an awesome responsibility, but a responsibility nonetheless. Uh, 67, I think you need to check your math. You, your work 65% passenger service, 45% free. Wait, unless you're saying that 10% of that is mixed train and it's both. I could dig that. Yeah. I, I could totally dig that. You know, that may be true. Uh, I am now uh, getting uh, backing up to my train, by the way. All right. So I'll be able to pick you all up shortly. Now we got to drop some riprap. A little bit more work to do, so... We'll have you creep along, we'll drop the riprap out of that gone. Um and uh and then see what check in with the dispatcher. See what's uh coming up to see if we need to get out of the bay or anything for one other train. Yeah, I have a feeling once we get to Whittier we're gonna need to refuel on water. I would tend to agree. I think I've ever been to this side of the river. That's nice over here. We're running around Perfect. exploring. Oh, well, this is kind of pretty. Alright, I'm gonna go back to work. I'm running and jumping like I'm playing a shooter game right now. No one can hit me. 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 Well, there's truth to that. B because it is not a it combat is not a shooter game. game nobody, no. nobody I can could, hit you. I could, I could get run, run over. You. I could get run over by a train. Oh. oh, I just found a new screenshot location. Well, you're in luck, cause couple things coming through uh, hope hopefully not a couple of things there's well you know we'll see this is a lot of what it is is your your flag men out while there were trains running and you got guys working in a track out of service. You just, uh, you're kind of just sitting there waiting for someone to show up. Can't play on your phone, you gotta be vigilant. We were being a vigilant flagman, watching out for trains to flag them down and stop them. All of you guys are being vigilant with me, right? It's not just me over here, staring off into the distance at a piece of track. I'm a vigilante, don't worry. The tracks. Well, some people are falling asleep here in chat. We're watching for trains, guys. Keep your eyes out for trains. It's like real fans. Maybe this is the part of the show. You don't have maybe a camera. This is, maybe this is the part of the show that we we make the ASMR part of of the stream. Like, hey guys. We're waiting for M.O.W. Hang on, no, I sure saw a squirrel. Where? 
I'm there. rubbing my microphone. I don't know if anybody can hear it. I, I cannot hear it. Thankfully, Discord oh. cuts that out. <laughs> Mixter conductor per G core, you're allowed to take a 15 minute nap so long as the other person on duty is awake and alert. Alright, you heard him, guys. I'm asleep. Next person, the other person on duty, uh, is gonna catch this train. So while Engineer Casey <laughs> is taking her nap, uh, I will... I, I don't have a lot of props to make ASMR noises. Oh, please I... don't do ASMR noises. We can do steam engine ASMR. <laughs> A, a CMO I worked with, his, um, his, uh, when you call a cell phone and he sends you to voicemail, it's, um, grade crossing whistle. So, like, you think it picks up, because it acts like it picks up, and then you hear, ooh, 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 and you're like, ah, voicemail, damn it. Uh, Destroyer 3R606, do we have plans on a release day stream? wouldn't mind to have considering you've been playing it and be helpful for us normals. I'd love to do a release day stream. I have no idea when the game is releasing in early access, so uh, I find out when you guys find out, I think. Um, Probably. But I'd, I'd love to hold a release day stream. Uh, it is peak Christmas train season right now. Uh, we had our first train last weekend um, for what we call um, dress rehearsal night. Or a previews night. It's kind of like theater. Um, and buff kiss pancakes. If you're watching this out there, don't make fun of me for being a theater kid. I'm not a theater kid. Um, but uh, th this weekend is uh, opening weekend for the uh, the Christmas trains. So, uh, and then it's just Christmas trains through December, all the way through to the 23rd. It's some 250 Christmas trains we're running. So I am a uh, I am unfortunately, yes, you I, you know, I, I'd, I'd love to be like, yes, no, like I'm absolutely going to do it, but it may not be on release day. It may be on uh, another day during the week. Uh, we'll have to see. Oh, crap. I am. Screenshot. This is a cool view. Now, how slow this, do you want me to go through good. here? Um, we'll just, we'll creep on through. Let's I... bring it down to walking speed. Okay. Um, nothing's wrong with being a theater kid. My friends just make fun of me for it. Um, even though I'm not really a theater kid, I worked in theater for a bit. Um, but I got friendly, friendly teased for that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Nick creep it down the walking speed. You could probably pinch it down a little bit more uh, in about a car. Yeah, something like that is good. If you're not getting teased about something at a railroad, uh, you're not really fitting in. I say that half jokingly, half seriously. So this uh, this bottom dump car here has some rip wrap in it. So Nick's just gonna creep along at this speed, and we're going to uh, unload our rip wrap nice and slowly up in the park around this curve. The do they open? <gasps> they do open. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little animation. So yeah, no, we're out. Yeah. Uh, where uh, Bombay doors are open. We were able, able to open the Bombay doors, Hal. That is cool. But yes, Christmas trains, I'd love to. Um, we'll see when the game, we'll see when uh, it's releasing and plan for something from there. Uh, I know I was talking with the wonderful channel subscribers who support our channel here on Twitch over in the Discord on uh and, uh, you know, planning to do some stuff with them when the game comes out. And, uh, you know, would love to be able to do something with uh, everyone here in the, the VRA Discord server. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Maybe some kind of a raffle. Mm. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Um, Maybe a pancake giveaway? We'll, we'll, we'll give away boxes of pancake mix? Maybe not a pancake giveaway. Ah, darn it. Now I like that idea. I said it as a joke and that I actually liked it. Why do I have to like my own ideas? Alright, and... 
that. It's all closed up. C67 thinks it's a good idea. Don't encourage him. No, do. I need encouragement. All right. It's not so, like I'm known for having a ton of ideas or anything. What? You? Ideas? No. <laughs> never. I got homework from the last board meeting. Hey, I gave that homework to all of us. That wasn't just to me. She is, of course, referring to Next Generation Railroaders. Coming soon to a movie theater near you. Well, actually, more like coming soon to a rail preservation scene near you. Yeah. Well, and you can bring it to a stop there. Will do. And well, I mean that legit. That is not yes. a joke. That is actually a legit thing that is happening, which is pretty awesome. Yes, it is. It's very exciting. We talked about it in our last stream. So if you missed watching the youth in railroading 207, excuse me, um, go check that one out on YouTube now. Um, but while we're waiting here, uh, Mr. Dispatcher Garbly, uh, are there any other trains out there we need to be apprised of? Um, Ice of the Blue, the Wilmington and Western Railroad are starting Santa Claus trains the last weekend of this month. You're doing two of the three days. God bless and Godspeed. Um, Santa trains are... Whew. They wear you out, so just make sure you take care of yourself. You're a lot of fun, I love doing mine, but they wear you out, so... Take good care with them. Dispatch extra 91. Hello, Dispatch. Uh, you guys are clear to proceed west whenever you're done with your uh, work. Alright. I'll uh, go remove that last fusee on this end. Dog. See? Texas machinist fronts with the pancake giveaway. Uh. I, I, clearly it was meant to be. It was meant to be. You know what? We'll have to do like a pancake open house somewhere at some point, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. and Maybe that we could charter it. Alright, Nick, I'm going to give you the ahead, and whistle signal for ahead is too long, not too short. Where did I come up with too short then? That's what every... It, it, it's a rail fan thing, that it's too short. But it, in reality, it's too long to go ahead. Um, is there such a thing as a too short? There is too short. It's acknowledgement of any signal not otherwise given. Okay. So, uh, too long, too furious. Got it. Too long for ahead, three short for back up. Uh, but there's something so powerful about, like, you just got the highball from the conductor and just being able to go. And a nice good too long, and you crack that throttle open, and you pump the throttle, and you, you get everything, you get all that slack picked up, and you start smoothly accelerating away. It's, it's a nice powerful feeling. And you want me to stop to pick you up here? Yeah, I'll hoop up on the fly. Okay. I'm gonna get on on the engineer side because you should always get on on the engineer side. When you are clearly visible by the engineer. So that way they can see if they accidentally crush you and kill you. Close enough. Alright, oh yeah, we will definitely need to stop in Whittier and get some water. Yes, we will. <laughs> Try not to use too much throttle getting there. My plan is to accelerate to a reasonable high rate of speed. You want to hook your bar up quite a bit there. I, I've hooked it up as much as I can. Okay. This is not a powerful engine. No, I, I remember this engine being a little bit more of a hot shot than this, but it's, it's been a minute since I've run her. It's been working hard all day. True. Well, you know where so we can duck in? Let us go 
Let us hope that our uh, wise and faithful dispatcher has recognized our dire need for water and can just route us we into... Could, we could duck into the sawmill. That's what I was thinking. Why don't we do that? Why don't we duck into the sawmill and get water? It's closer. Yep. And there's that column there now. Alright, let's see if I can get a good noodle here. Oh no, that's going to yeet me off the engine. Yep. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to go stand up here on the back of the tender. That's, that, that also works. I mean, we might be able to make the, the other tank. Ah, uh, but we don't know if anyone's on the main or not. True. Uh, dispatch 91. Hello, Dispatch. Uh, you guys going to duck into East Whittier for water? Yes, we are. Okay, when you clear up, can you throw the switch behind you and I'll get you, I've got a train around you? I can. Awesome, thank you. Let me know when you're clear. Will do. Alright, so as you're coming into the hole here, Nick, why don't you flip your lights on over to, uh, Dim. Dim. And try not to use up the last 200 gallons of water. No, we're at 100. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, hearing an injector stop working is always a wonderful feeling when it goes and doesn't make any noise. Uh, 67 is reminding us that we were going to talk about class lights. We were going to talk about class we'll about We'll talk about class lights and uh, markers when we stop. While we're filling up water. Us. We don't have a. We have, well, we have marker lights on the tender we can talk about. That works. Might need your help spotting. Yep, I'm up here. Cool. Oh, cool. There's not even a water texture in the tender right now. Oh. <laughs> Just a few drops. All right, once we get uh, once we get stopped, you can you can put your turn your headlight off. Okay. Uh, since we're on the hole, and so that way the other trains approaching know that we're on the hole. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna pull up the marker lamp rules uh, out of the Discord because that's where we have them. Uh, tender length, 20 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, keep her rolling like this. How much more? Keep her rolling. Another like 10, uh, 8 feet. Keep her creeping ahead. Keep her creeping. Just keep her rolling like this. Keep her rolling, keep her rolling. Another two feet to go. Keep her moving. And far enough. Okay, evidently not far enough. Uh, a head one foot. What? Hang on, far enough. I see a stop yep, going down. Go. Yay. Alright, so remember, headlight to dim, and take a recharge with your automatic, and set your independent. Alright, so now we can do another railroad thing that... Oh good, you're already on that side. So we're going to do what's called a roll-by. And we're just going to watch this train as it comes through. And check for hanging, dragging, all that kind of stuff.
people that's are. A park. That's a very uh, respectable size. He's found there. Yes, it is. Uh, now that we're done with our work, uh, the dispatcher's gone ahead and let all the trains know that our Form B has been cancelled and track is uh, open for track speed. Wow, this is a... Uh... I hope he makes the grade. Uh, ambitious. And so once the train's clear, you know, you hop on the radio, you let the engineer and conductor know, hey, uh, extra 90, uh, you got, hey, engine 90, you got a good roll by, good marker. And, uh, they usually whistle twice to acknowledge good roll by, good marker. But while we're here, class laps. So you've got three options. None, which is you're a scheduled train. Uh, you're running on the timetable. Um, you have a, you have a timetable in the schedule. Uh, and bing, bang, boom, you're good there. Your next option is white, which means you're an extra train. You're unscheduled. Um, no one knows that you're out there, so you're running as extra your engine number. Uh, versus a train that's not carrying class lamps. A scheduled train, which is running under a train number. So, you know, like our passenger train. No, 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 you already, you, you said that. You, you, you passed green. Huh? Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm circle topic here oh sorry yes no no i i vaguely know what i'm doing occasionally um i just uh, I you, no I no i thought you had a mental hiccup i would have a mental hiccup <laughs> no it's it, you know extra versus scheduled gets kind of confusing um so i was yeah i was trying to do a loop thing anyway a scheduled train which is going to be like you know like train 200 the valley flyer or 99 and 98 the valley flyer that's, you know, it has a number versus an extra train, which doesn't have a number. You're just extra your engine number. Uh, and your third option is green, which means you're a following section. So the first, which means, so sections can exist on scheduled trains. So if we were the first section of, let's say, train 98, we'd have no, we'd have, we wouldn't have our class lamps on. If we were the second section of train 98, Oh, hang on. Sorry, I'm getting this wrong. I gotta look at the rule again. If we were the second section, then we wouldn't have, and there was no other following section, we wouldn't have sorry. lights on. If we, sorry, there's there's a couple of different rules about this, depending oh. on who you are and where you are. Um, all sections except the last section carry green lights. So if there was a second section of uh, yeah. train 98 following us, we'd have green lights. And if there was a third section following them, they would also have green lights. The last section doesn't carry green lights to indicate that it is the rear of that train or the rear of that section. And there will be no other sections following. Um, it's confusing. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, there was one book that I read, and I forget whose book it was, where the leading section didn't carry green lamps, but it carried yellow flags or yellow lights on the hind end to indicate that um, there was another section behind them. And then the following section carried green lights to acknowledge that they were a following section. Um, so, yeah, it gets confusing. It depends on the book. The book that we use, if you have a, sec if you have a section following, you carry green lamps. Well, marker lamps are a bit harder to get into um, cost of uh, just how kind of they work in the game uh, but note that you carry red to the rear um, if you're oh, we don't have yellow yeah see so we can't really do this if you go all the way back if you go all the way back to um, May 4th uh, we have the Erie May 4th May 4th, we have the Erie rules for the Erie standard code rules for marker lamps. So, um, if we were waiting in the siding, and I'm trying to pull open the rule. Da 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 da, rear the train around a single traffic. If we were getting passed by another train, I'd flip this. So that way red was in and green was out. 
or yellow was out, so that way the other train would know that, like, hey, they're they're clear in the hole. You can get by. Um, so it's stuff like that. These lamps are different from what I've seen. They're three green and a red. Usually it's red and uh, two or three yellow. Um, I don't have experience seeing green lenses, but, eh, I don't know. Maybe they exist out there and I just haven't seen them before. But that's a quick deep dive into markers and class lamps. Uh, dispatch, extra 91. Hello, Dispatch. You guys are clear uh, west and you're going to play with water. Uh, we are all topped up on water. We're ready to head west. Okay. Ready, Nick? Ready. Yeah, I was hitting a weird hitbox too. Glad to know it wasn't just me. Um, just going back through some questions here, 6777. Uh, I've seen hoses in England, haven't really seen them in America, but uh, those columns do have a lot of side-to-side -side sway, or side, you know, you can turn it 360 degrees, so you could line it up pretty well. Um, that's just Yeah, in real life games. you have a little bit more play. Um, I sure the blue, seeing the VRA do the tutorial, then keep on playing would be cool to see how they do it, compared to any of us in here that plans on getting the game. Um... I, I think you mean like the, the game, like the tutorial that comes at the start of the game? Not, not really sure there, but yeah. That, that was my guess. I don't know. Maybe a Let's Play, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Happy to join other people in their Let's Plays uh, if other people out there uh, do it. Um... Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that today of uh, making the VRA Discord a little more uh, op session friendly so that way other people can host. There's a couple of bots out there that I was looking at to be able to set that up. Uh, mm -hmm. Mixture Carl Conductor. Can't that. Carl can handle that, believe it or not. There's a there's another bot that lets you do um, like an auto channel create. Um, mm. So... If someone's like, I'm looking for a game, and they start like an activity, it'll create a channel for their activity. So I'm looking into experimenting with that. Mm -hmm. um, Mixer Conductor, thank you for the correction. Um, you know, I, I don't get to use those rules that often, so it's kind of a black art. Our rulebook actually says class lamps are for decoration only. Marker lamps are not for decoration. You have to use markers. Um, yeah, no, the, the air compressor is very much in the way. Uh, you, you don't really get to see much. That's why a lot of later engines, the, and I hope you can see the mouse on stream, yeah. Um, we'll usually have the compressor half sunk through the running board. So that way the running board is kind of coming around this spot right here. Well, you guys are all very welcome for the streams. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate it, and uh, I hope you guys all stick around once Route Rotor is out, and we're not just giving you previews anymore, and we're just still talking about railroading and cool stuff. Uh, we'll be able to do more cool stuff once the game is out and in more people's hands. With that, I'm excited for clear. Yeah. Come for the exclusive railroader access. Stay for the people. Thus we hope. Yes. Yes, sometimes on the smoke box. 
I am all about the bi-directional flow of knowledge. I don't know everything. I'm learning a little bit every day. At least I hope I'm learning a little bit every day. Um, makes things interesting in life, I think. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yes. Well, let's, uh, continuing with whistle signals, because I like whistle signals. I like, I like playing with the whistle. Um, you know this. We've, we've talked about my, my, uh, my favorite quote for the whistle. Or favorite musician's quote about running steam engines. Um, guy I used to work with, uh, Two Gun Pardini. Um, you'd have to turn on both injectors when he was fire when he was running to keep up water. Um, but uh, he said he would say, uh, you know, Casey, I'm a musician, and the steam locomotive is just the largest instrument I play. And goddamn it, if he didn't play the steam locomotive. But uh, whistle hmm. signals, right? So stop. Everyone knows the whistle signal for stop. Chime in in the chat. Hopefully, you all know it. Um, but it is one long for a stop. Um, and if you're stopped, one long means set handbrakes or brakes applied. So if you know we're doing a brake test and you get hold up your arm and hold up your arm, wiggle your arm side to side, wiggle your arm. It's, we did it in a rule recently. Um, think back with the eerie stuff in May. But if you give me the apply handbrakes hand signal or apply brake signal, I'll respond with brakes applied. And when you give me the release, I'll give you two short brakes released. Um, we already went over a head, which is too long. Um, back up, you know, you're three short. Um, when we're running, um, back up is when we're running three short means, uh, stopping at the next station. So, if Nick gives me long, short, and I say, yeah, we're stopping, Nick will go. Like that. As it. Hmm? What were you going to say, Nick? I, I thought that was if we were not stopping. No, if you're not stopping, it's ahead. Here we go. Oh, okay, it's two versus three. Yeah, gotcha. if you're not stopping, it's all right. Here we go. A head. Um, okay. When you're approaching a station, this is after you've already done your long short. When you're approaching your station um, for a stop, it's long. And that's for a warning for the people on the platform. Like, hey, we're approaching. Uh, when you're coming up to a meet, long long short and that's as you're approaching that train that's waiting for you and those are all the whistle signals hopefully you know we'll get we'll get BMAC to post uh, the whistle signals out of the AM and W timetable uh, there's a bunch of others there's a uh, five which is you're recalling a flagman I think it's from the north and east uh, and then you have Uh, recalling a flagman from the north and west, it, or it's some combination of long, short. Ah, oh, we'll we'll uh we'll have BMAC post some stuff. Whistle signals are fun; they're cool. I don't get uh, nearly covered as much. Clear. Oh, um, I yeah, I see what's going on. hop down on the ground here and make sure we're uh, clear of that crossing. I'm pretty sure we will be. You know, it's because the fast song was playing. That, you know, we were going fast, missed it. Oh, right. you were down, I don't hear the music. Well, they hear the music. Yes, oh, they yeah, do. No, we're, we're definitely going to We are here to entertain. 
Yes, yeah, so you can creep on all the way up to that signal there. And uh, now that we're in the hole, we'll turn our headlight off and we'll wait for uh, the next, wait for whatever our meat is. No rules were violated in the making of this. None. Whatsoever. Mixer conductor, apply as laterally across your belly. That uh, that is not apply for us. I'm I'm gonna look this up because now I'm. It's gonna bother me. Here we go. Hand signals. When did we do this? May twelfth. Uh, apply air brakes is swung horizontally above your head when standing. So, I'm, I'm doing this right now. You guys can't see what I'm doing, I just realized. But that's apply. And then release is hold your arm straight up above your head. So, May 12th. That's, uh, that's where you can find those rules. Oh, you're using the weird West Coast rules. No, West Coast hand signal... No, I don't like West Coast hand signals. They're weird. I love how there's this whole East Coast, West Coast. It's like I got called like out in the rap video. Styles. I got called out. I got straight up called out in a YouTube video about East versus West Coast hand signals. Um, if you watched uh, Heiss's "Getting Off on the Right Step" video, I am I am the person on the East Coast who every time he does a weird West Coast hand signal gets a message. I don't like them because they don't make sense. You're, you're, you're giving like a come to you signal, but like it's, it's hard to read and... I don't know. I feel like this is the, this is one of those things where people are very hard party line of what they've learned is the right way. See, but like West Coast hand signals, you switch over to East Coast hand signals at night. So like you already have to switch when the sun goes down to East Coast hand signals. So clearly they make the most sense. I'm just saying. Well, it's not me you have to convince at this point. Oh, it's apparently a everyone else. Complete grasshopper when it comes to cancer. Uh, Aro Aquatic, you prep for a weekend of running trains by running digital trains. I, I am being a fireman today. I'm, I'm an MOW supervisor. I'm not running trains. Um, but. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice to hang out with your friends and run trains on a weekday, and, yeah, we're streaming today, so it's a little bit less conversation about uh, what all what's up at our personal railroads, but uh, we're chatting with you people instead, and I'm sure in the, the back rooms call of the, the VRA server, there's more, uh, there's conversation about what they're up to, but, yeah, no, it's, it's nice to just goof around, run a railroad with your friends uh, in between running your actual railroads. I don't know. I find it relaxing. I don't, I don't know about anyone else. But it's, a, it's some good quality time with friends, good quality time with all of you wonderful viewers out there at uh, your respective homes or offices or what have you. But yeah, no, it's, this, is, this is what I'm doing to prep for running trains. It's also way less stressful. Hopefully we have our final meet of the, the night because we are coming yes, up on that time. We are getting close to the, the end of this. I, I want to cheat and look at the map, but I don't want to cheat and look at the map. I know that feeling. I'm going to cheat and look at the map. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's we're close. doing it for our, our... We're doing it for the loyal viewers. I want them to know. I'm going to... Be, be a good noodle. Set your independent, release your automatic, and put you in center. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. No, good noodle over here. I think I know who RO Aquatic is. Thank you for the LEDs. That was that was much appreciated last weekend. They uh they made a huge difference over on the blower gauge on the fireman side. Uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing them on the engineer side. We're uh, slowly switching our uh, cab lights over to LEDs. So there's been a constant crew complaint for years that it's hard to read the gauges in the dark. Um, that would so be. if if RO Aquatic is who I think it is, thank you for that. It's uh. It's been a monumental help. They're uh, they're bright, they're soft, um, they're not they're they're not too blue. So uh, it's a uh, yeah, big fan. Well, there's now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, on... In my stream... Yeah, well, yeah, on my end, their wheels weren't moving at all. I had to look at the stream and confirm that the wheels were actually... Oh, well, that's moving. a fun bug. Kind of looks like... It looks like we got a green out of here. Power sliding through. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's Alrighty, cool. Alrighty, then we will take that. So as we both try and get into... I got into the cab. You just teleported into the cab. Wait. There you go. Doesn't that feel yep. more powerful? The too long? It does. It, it, that is going to take a while to clone me, but I do. The too long is very much a like, hey, get out of the way. So, you know, you combine that with that, and that, and it, it, it feels good. Yes, well, we're releasing this Olympic box is always good. I just forget that that's a thing I can do in this game. Me too. I don't use it all that much. Yeah, the view is terrible out of this cab. The fireman. You spend enough time in here, you're like, okay, I get my diesel took over. I understand. They're fun, but I understand. I get it. Yes. Like, is it something different? Yes. But is it the most practical? No. 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 It makes sense. All right. We're off the switch. We can accelerate on away, and I think as we cross the bridge, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport up ahead here a little bit and do some foaming uh, to close on out. Seems like a good note. Hide up here in the bushes. But we hoped uh, you all enjoyed the stream. What may be the last pre-release stream the VRA does of Railroader. Uh, we hope that for those of you who stuck around, you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I don't know. I'm excited to play with all of you next month. Um, we'll definitely uh, yep. we'll definitely have to do some fun events over on the ser on the Discord server. Again, shameless plug, exclamation mark Discord for... Uh, or it'll be down in the, um, the description below if you're watching this later. Uh, but it's yeah, it's been fun getting to share all of this with you. Um, at the the wonderful blessing of Adam and the rest of the development team, it's uh, it's been very enjoyable getting to share all of this with you. Um, and we look forward to hanging out and doing this more once the game is out and being able to talk about cooler, more topics. I know it's been asked about a lot. Uh, dispatching, that's on our radar. We're actively looking for mm -hmm. uh, a couple of different dispatchers to be able to do timetable and train order uh, with Form 19s, as well as uh, then doing a, a one on just CTC. So we'll do completely dark dispatching and we'll do uh, signal dispatching. Um, so we're, we're, we're looking for that. It's going to happen. I know everyone keeps asking about it, but please trust. We, uh, we want to do that one. Uh, as always, uh, thank you for joining us this evening for railroading. Uh, workshop where we're talking about MOW, whistles, lights, bells, uh, bells and whistles, uh, talked about all of that jazz. Uh, I'm Professor Casey. And I'm Professor Nick. 
Have a good night, everyone. Take care. I can't find the button. Where's the button? That's the button. Bye, everyone.